All right, today I'm going to be doing a passenger side CV axle replacement. And if you already haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and then comment down below if you have any questions on regarding this uh, process of the job. Now, this is a very straightforward process. Um. Nothing too hard on it. Um, just need a couple proper tools. You are going to need a hammer, 12 millimeter, 17 millimeter, and a 19 millimeter, and a 32 uh, millimeter so or a 36 millimeter socket as well. First thing, I'm going to tell you the jacking up points. So right here, we can jack it up on the subframe. You can jack it up on the pinch weld, but I don't like these using those guys because over time they do become weak. So the subframe is the way to go. And then as for support, we're going to go ahead and use our jack sand on the front of the subframe right there. That's another jacking up point too. So if you wanted to do both sides, you can actually lift it right there and then put the jack sands where I had the jack at. So. Th those will be your reinforcements. So we're going to go ahead and take off the the wheel and then that's going to be a 19 millimeter. Alright, so after we're done doing that, what we're going to go ahead and do first, we're going to go ahead and take off this 12 millimeter brake line. Um, bracket holder then we're going to go ahead and take off this 17 millimeter nut there is a cotter pin that's on there you're just going to have to open it up and then pull it right back out you're going to need some pliers for that and then we'll go ahead and take off the 30 uh 36 millimeter nut for the axle and then after you get the um, the axle you're going to need uh, to punch this out with the hammer Sometimes you might need to hit it with penetrating oil. And then right here too, um, we're going to loosen up the bolt, not all the way, just just a good amount, just to where it's barely hanging. And then we're going to hit the um, this part right here, this knuckle of it with the hammer until it breaks loose. And then following right after that, we're going to go ahead and take off the these two 17 millimeters. So this is going to be holding the strut so we can actually release the, um, the CV axle from its place. So you're going to um, loosen it up from right here while holding the nut from the other side. So right there would be the nut. Now let's say if you don't have an impact gun to take off this, what you can do is put a flathead screwdriver right here, a pretty thick size, or kind of like a little center punch and hang it right there. Now when you're tightening, you're going to have it going obviously right, so that'll lock it in place, or you can have it between right here, so it holds it, um, but since you were going to be loosening it, you need to put it on the bottom, so once you're going this way it'll lock right here in place hand me the hammer the hammer hammer thank you and then also right here Here's our ABS cable, so since we don't want to break that, we can just loosen it from right here. So you're just going to wiggle right back and forth. And then it'll have a little bit more room just for that. So we don't need a lot of room, but just, just enough so we're, we don't rip, rip the cable. And so for this guy, now that you got this loose, now it'll be pretty hard to take off. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to take off. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just tap on the other side of it. Make sure you don't hit the threads, that you just hit on the flat side. And then once you get that off, you're going to use your 17 millimeter wrench. Put that guy right there. And then we're just going to loosen it. We're going to loosen this nut while pulling this guy um, back. So just like that. So then we're going to go ahead and get this guy right here, just make sure it's out of the place so once we pop off the axle that we'll have enough room. 
All right, so if you're having the same trouble as I am, this guy doesn't want to pop back in. So um, what we're gonna have to go ahead and do is make sure that this guy is fully seated in, and then we're gonna have to pop it from the inside. Fortunately, like literally doesn't want to go back in. I've been trying, but again, I don't want to rip this. Just maybe I might need to use it. It's still good, so just doing some vibration tests just to make sure so we're trying to trying to save this as much as possible but I'm gonna go ahead and tap it from the inside and then kind of pull it up push it up towards there and um, we'll go ahead and pop that right out so we can uh, release the CV axle so we'll go ahead and do that right now all right so coming from the inside of the car I'm going to be using the center punch that I have um, just to hit right here and then it should pump out. You can use a flathead screwdriver too. It should literally come right out. So now we're ready to reverse the order. So we're gonna go ahead and slide in first. So just like this. So now, at this point, you can have your uh, nut just threaded on, just this, on the CV axle. You don't need to tighten it or anything. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, is that we're just gonna go ahead and just push up on this, the, um, the whole spindle, and then while spinning um, the rotor, which will spin the CV axle, and we need to lock it in thread. So once it catches thread, we're gonna kinda use this as our hammer. Grab our hammer right here. Let's see if I got that. Yeah. And we'll just kind of tap on it. But at the same time, make sure you're pulling the CV axle towards the the transmission. And then once that's in, it'll fully seat in, and then you're good to go. Now for reinsurance, get your center punch. Push it in all the way, and then make sure that it's in. So now that we're in, pretty much ready to go. So pretty much this is going to be, a, the, the rest of the video is going to be all fast forward. And um, I don't think nothing needs to be detailed on some things, but I'll go ahead and, I will go ahead and list some things, but just in case if needed I will mention it so when putting on on this guy right here make sure that you you're kind of like so when putting on this guy right here make sure that you you can just put in this bolt just barely in all the way and then sometimes you can use this as leverage and then you can use your other hand to lift up while still pushing it in since we got that we'll go ahead and tap it away So right here, I want to say you want to torque those down to like 30 foot pounds or something. And then once you get it on tight, we can go ahead and uh, put in our cotter pin right here. Now this will keep the nut from spinning out of place. And then we'll just pull that back just like that. Then we'll put on our ABS line 
you just kind of rock it back and forth. Then we'll put on our brake line. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten on this bolt. Um, I believe it's 235 foot pounds or 230 foot pounds. Um, but either or, it'll still be good. So then once you got that on, there's a little indentation on the CV axle. Now you need to hit the nut and then you need to make a groove. So right here, so you kind of want to do that. So that will keep the axle nut from backing out. And there you want it to look just like that. Now we're ready to put on the wheel. And so when you tighten down the wheel, you need to do it in a star pattern. So one, two, three, four, five. And then go ahead and lower your car. 